Hey YouTube, uh, Hi Country Cowpunk. This is part 10, I think, of Hi <laughs> Hair of the Dog. Uh, just uh, con my continuing journey through thyroid cancer. Um, wanted to talk today um, about the, where I'm at real quick. Um, my, my last video, I think I was showing I was at 10 or 12,000 counts a minute. It's been a few weeks since then. Um, I'm back down to normal. I have no radiation left in me. Um, so far, so good. I am in remission. So remission's a good thing. Um, we have to do some blood tests next, and we're starting now. We're starting the search for secondary cancers from all of the radiation and the other, you know, things I've been going through. So um, it's not a lot of fun, and unfortunately, a lot of people are going to go through it. Um, I can I was going to read you some statistics about you know how much radiation is coming out of Fukushima and that, but you know what? I'm done. I'm done doing that at all. Um, it, we all know it's bad. It's out of control, and there's no stopping it. There's absolutely no way to stop it. There is no playbook. There is no filtration system for the water. So it's a new world we live in, and it's going to be a radioactive one, unfortunately. Um, so now we got to start thinking about well, how do we go through the future? What do we do? I mean, do we, do we want to take the chance and build more nuclear power plants, even though we still don't have a way to deal with the waste? Okay, um, we get, there's some serious stuff we need to talk about. And out of all the 1,347 politicians running for office right now, I haven't heard one mention what they're going to do about it. Um, uh, my last video, I was in for a trace dose of, uh, of iodine-123 so they could uh, see if I grew any thyroid cells and nothing uptook anything, so that's good. But the point I want to get to here is, okay, we're being told there's no radiation monitors we can really rely on. The only networks really are, you know, people like me. Um, there's people around that have, have Geiger counters and are reporting when things are, you know, not normal. Um, uh, things here are actually normal, but with, with people doing things for, at, from home, and, and me included, um, you know, you have to question everything. I mean, I can show you right now that we're at double counts per minute. Uh, let's see if you can see that. So here's the 68 counts a minute. Okay, normal for here is about 30 counts a minute. It's no big deal. Um, it's, there is no rise in there, but um, if you watch my last video, you know I share minerals at the end, and there happens to be something in the room with me that's radioactive. So not only, you know, I collect radioactive rocks, I, I swallow radiation when they tell me to, um, I use, they use radiation to burn the thyroid out of my body, okay? I mean, literally ablated it out of my body. There's none there whatsoever. They're keeping my pineal gland throttled so it doesn't grow any cells so you know and if you're eh, if that if there are chakras that chakra of mine is actually being blinded so I'm kind of third eye blind um, the, it, what's really irritating in this in this whole thing is that uh, the waiting room uh, at the at the um, the nuclear medicine facility was at about 151 counts a minute which is you know uh, that's a higher than background um, but when you go through this it's, um, I've explained the process already to bring out the lead pigs, you know, you take it. Uh, last time I went in, I had my Geiger counter in my pocket. I forgot to turn off the alarm and the nuclear tech actually, you know, got a start because I carried my own Geiger counter with me. I told him it was so I made sure I was getting my money's worth. Um, and I was, okay. Um, but here's the thing. When, when, you know, you're being, we're not, let me back that up. Okay, we're being told there's no, there's no radiation monitors. You can't go onto a NOAA website and see what the radiation levels are, you know, in California, Oregon, Washington, Alaska. You can't, there's just, we're told there's no network, there's no infrastructure for that. Yet, when they give you 3.87 micrograms of iodine-123, you get this little piece of paper to carry with you. It's because all over the city of Denver, this one's actually from 2014. My other one I can't find from this year. Um, okay, so all over Denver, there are radiation detectors, and you carry this with you around Denver because they will pull you over. They will search you, so you will set off detectors, and the little black, the black sedans will show up. And if you don't have this, you could be in trouble. So if there's a network that I have to carry a card for around... Where's, why can't we have access to the information? Aren't they our dollars paying for it? It's a simple thing. If there's, if, if there's not enough radiation coming from Fukushima or elsewhere that we need to be worried about, you know, if you, they're, they're again, 
tell us what's out there. We can make a decision for ourselves if we want to go out and, or let your kids go out and play in the ocean that day. It's, it's pretty simple. But don't tell me there's not detectors out there. That's, that's proof right there. I mean, you literally have to carry this with you for like 30 days, you know, it, just in case. And don't go near an airport because I'm sure you set one off in an airport. It, that's probably the most likely place. But I was told they're all over the city, like downtown, everywhere. So... Um, anyway, got that off my chest. <laughs> um, okay, back to the radiation detectors. Um, there's, there are some networks out there that you can go to on the internet. I don't know how reliable they are. I don't even know how reliable a government website would be. But it would be so easy for someone to cause fear or cause panic in, the, in, in an area just by simply knowing anything about radiation or if you happen to collect, you know, radioactive rocks. And I'll share one of those with you right now. Let me go get it. I've actually got it hidden from the Geiger counter. It's, it's in a lead box. Go figure. Be right back. All right, you see, ah. okay, I have no fear handling this stuff. Um, I've, I've had so much more radiation than this rock will ever put out. However, this is a fairly hot rock as far as hot rocks go, okay? What you're looking at here, this is, and I did a video on this one before, but it's one of my favorite minerals. Um, okay, this is uraninite and gummite. It's probably about a softball size piece. It's a pretty good size piece, actually. What you're looking at here, the black running through here, those are actually dendritic uranium crystals. It's called uraninite. Okay, and the minerals surrounding it, the oranges, the blues, and all that, are actually alteration products because the uraninite is, is actually altering the rocks next to it. Okay, now uh, just picking this up and bringing it over within a couple of feet of my Geiger counter, now we're at 151 counts. Okay, so I mean, it'd be so easy to, to flummox one of these things. But let's just see how hot this little guy is real quick. There goes the alarm. I'm hoping you can see that. This is a pretty good, pretty hot rod. And there's still a lot of this around. I believe that this is from the Ruggles Mine in Grafton, New Hampshire. Yeah, she's still going up. This one will top out at about 7,700 counts a minute, okay? So, but even now I could show you, oh look, there's, there's elevated radiation. Well, nothing to worry about because it's just the rock. Let me put this back, I'll be right back. All right, that thing will calm me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Geiger counter off because it's gonna, it won't stop until it rotates back down under uh, like two microsieverts. Right now it's at 13, so let me turn that little sucker off. All right, so anyway, that was fun with minerals. Um, but I just think it's interesting that we're, we're going into a, a period of time here where um, they're building new plants. I mean, it would, it, it's a simple request. Why not, why not give us real-time radiation monitoring that, you know, so if, if those of us who, who want to avoid it can avoid it, those of us who don't want anything to do with it can have nothing to do with it. Um, like I said, I'm not afraid of it. It's, you know, you can manage it. It's, it's, it's a material, just like any other toxic material you have in your home. However, uh, the little bits and pieces that are raining down on us that we're taking up through our foods, our, through the, through the, through the bioaccumulation, I mean, it's, and it's not going to stop. There's, there is no stopping this thing. Uh, Fukushima is off the charts. I mean, I, I, I would hate to be the insurance adjuster, first of all. Okay, second of all, um, like I said, there's no playbook. They're, they're, what are they going to do? Uh, you know, they can't sarcophagus it because it's right next to the ocean. It's kind of, you can't freeze the ground. That, that failed miserably. It's, I mean, it's a joke. Um, so we know there's radiation being released. Now they're re releasing filtered water. We all know it doesn't take out all of the radioactive isotopes. We know that. Okay, so we're going to be getting radiation from this thing. Why can't we know for ourselves in real time what's really going on? I mean, can someone explain that one to me? You know... Not very good at being with the angst thing. You have to go to Kevin for that. You know, um, if you want the art side, you go see Tom. But uh, I don't know what I am. Um, I don't really consider myself an artist. Maybe I'm a musician. I don't know. I like to play. Um, I have just just play. You know, some people get together and play cards. My friends and I get together, we play music. Um, you know, and it's just what we do. 
you know. Um, uh, what was, there was one other point I wanted to make tonight, and that's that. Okay, that we're we're all humans. We all inhabit the same planet. Um, whether you're 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 you're, you're pro nuke, you're anti nuke, whether you're religious, whether you're not religious. Um, th th what's going on right now w it, with the, this uh, age of fission that we're in, okay, fission doesn't work. I, I don't have a problem with CERN at all. Uh, they don't worry me at all. Matter of fact, they might actually figure out a way to, you know, maybe use fusion. I don't know, but maybe no there is no nuclear option. You know, we have, we have uh, the, the best nuclear furnace right in the center of our solar system that we could possibly hope for. Um, you know, uh, as long as it stays calm, we'll be good. But there has to be some more, there has to be a more of a, of a caring nature about this. Um, getting angry doesn't help. Um, I, I don't really see where protesting anything is going to help. What we need to do is we need a, a, a culture of life, so, you know, that, that we respect all life. And right now we are seriously disrespecting life in the Pacific. Uh, it's uh, you know, it's, and it's mankind's doing. So, and we're going to continue to go forward with all with with what we with more nuclear plants. We have we have no way to dispose of the waste. Okay, there is no such thing as clean energy. Period. End of story. There is no clean energy. Okay, um, nuclear is clean while it's running, but if you have a problem, boy, do you have a problem. Let me. There's three full cores that they cannot tell you the location of. Okay, I could take my little Geiger counter and I could go run around the backyard and I could find anything radioactive that's in my backyard. Why can't they find it? Why can't they find it? Has it gone so deep? I, I, I don't I just can't believe that I, I I think it's somewhere right around where the water table is and things are much worse than they're telling us so there you have it that's my two cents for today um, happy equinox uh, there's a, a lunar eclipse coming um, I've already set my vacation time for 2017 for the solar eclipse north of us here um, I'm not gonna miss it I suggest you put in for the time now because it's going to be a good one. Uh, it's going to be the last one for a while in North America too. So anyway, everybody be safe. Um, I probably don't make any sense at all in this video, but that's just how I am. Um, we need to do something. I don't know what the answer is. And, you know, I do know that I can conserve energy. I do know that I can turn lights off when I'm not using them. I do know, you know that we can make some changes that way. Um, climate change, it's, it's real, it's already started, um, we're in it, so we adapt, that's what we're going to have to do. I live at 8,500 feet, um, I work at 9,600 feet, and the winters are getting progressively worse, um, it, but what do you do? Well, you make sure your four-wheel drive is working, and you know, you, you learn to drive blind, it's been, you know, that's kind of how it works around here. <laughs> it's you have to go to work, and in my position, uh, the job I have, I have to be at work. The place cannot open unless me or my crew is there. So it's just the way it is. Um, you just you adapt, and that's what we as humans will do. We'll adapt. Okay, we'll we'll figure out how to live with this radiation going in the water. But figuring out how to live with it without knowing exactly what you're dealing with is is a physical impossibility. Anyway, that's my two cents. Uh, this is part 10. Uh, stick around for part 11. Um, I'm going to do a little series on addiction. Um, I've been clean for 21 years. If anybody out there is having a problem with uh, methamphetamines or other drugs, um, hit me up. You know, um, this is kind of a joke. It's kind of not a joke, but there's a surefire way to quit doing methamphetamine. The first step, stop doing methamphetamine. The second step, continue to stop doing methamphetamine. You can get through it, okay? You're your life is over once you start doing that shit, okay? You have to rebuild everything. I had to learn how to read again, okay? It was that bad, okay? It's, it, it's, a, it's a terrible thing. And like I said, my next video, I'll probably do a little bit about how to get out of it and how I got out of it, okay? Um, and like I say, if you want to hear more, hit me up, email me. I'm happy to work with you. Um, I've already helped two other people kind of get off, which is your duty if you're a recovered, recovering, you're never recovered, recovering drug addict, it is your duty to get other people off of it. 
because you've been there, you've done that, you can hold their hand, you can get them out. Anyway, that's my time. Um, I'll do another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.